hi it's been a bit I know <laughs> I missed you um, I think it's been like three or four weeks since I've picked up the vlog camera it's really sunny I'm sorry um, why am I sorry we've been waiting for summer forever um, hi happy weekend vlog I decided I was gonna vlog this weekend because I'm actually doing something so let me quickly address the break I took like a three-week break from vlogging I haven't uploaded in almost a month on the main channel and I'm probably not gonna upload for another month on the main channel because I just don't want to film tired and that's okay that was the deal this year I promised myself I would only post when I wanted to post and then admittedly I was super busy at work and life has just been busy and life sometimes gets in the way of hobbies that is the truth <laughs> it is what it is um, I haven't had a lot of energy I've been super tired and I just took a much needed break so that was really the only reason why I haven't uploaded and I haven't really left the house a lot I work I come home I clean I cook I work I come home I clean I cook I see mom and dad I do all the outside summary chores that sort of situation and that's it so nothing's happened to actually vlog I haven't bought any Lego. I'm almost done season five of Superstore, so I flew through five seasons of that on Netflix. And aside from that, the only other real updates are, I got my COVID vaccine, the first dose. It's been interesting. Um, more on that a little later. I, did, I just did my skincare too, by the way. Um, the fridge broke, so I got a new fridge. Huzzah. It's in, it's nice, but bam um, I got the COVID-19 vaccine. I got Pfizer and I have my second dose booked as well. I got the first dose June 10th. Today is June 18th. I had a horrible reaction to it. Um, I got the vaccine. I felt really lethargic like a few hours after, but that was really, I thought I was fine. I came home and I went to bed early. I honestly thought I was going to be fine. Got up the next day, which was Friday the 11th, had a fever had aches and pains all over my body, had a normal work day, just kept doing what the pharmacist, nope, not what the pharmacist said, what the RN said when she administered the vaccine, did all that crap. Came home Friday from work at five o'clock, sat on the couch with the intention of like flicking on some Netflix and having supper. Never did either. Um, literally fell asleep before 5.30 and didn't wake up until 4 p.m. Saturday, so I slept for almost 23 hours undisturbed like it was terrifying um then i got up saturday and had a lot more aches and pains and discomfort i had a lot of swelling in my arm i still have a bruise from where i was vaccinated um and then i thought i was okay monday tuesday i still felt low energy but i didn't feel horrible so i was like lovely so i'm still getting like side effects from it and it's been eight days so it is what it is and we've also accelerated in newfoundland the um I've got my pajama shorts on, <laughs> please don't judge me. Um, we've accelerated getting our vaccines. I was booked in for my second dose for September 30th, and they both canceled everybody's appointments. So I booked in exactly from eight weeks from when I first got mine. So I'm getting my second dose on August 5th. And uh, William and I have planned a cabin staycation for the end of August. So it'd be nice to be both fully vaccinated then. Um, and yeah. I'm actually vlogging the weekend. I do have some footage from when I got vaccinated because I wanted to have it just because it was a moment. So I will insert that here. Guys, I haven't vlogged in a hot minute, but I'm recording this footage now so you guys have it. And I want you to know it is June 10th and it's snowing in St. John's. And two days ago, it was 31 degrees. And then we all wonder why we have sinus issues. I am finally allowed to get my goddamn first dose of the stupid COVID vaccine. So I'm at the Village Mall and I'm waiting for my 4.50 call time. They're making people wait outside in the snow, so I'm, I'm early. Um, and I ain't waiting in no mother damn line because it's snowing and just no. So here we are. Then I got to run into the village anyway and get a couple of things. So tis what it is. It's vaccination day. Here we go. here 
And then the weekend, this coming weekend, tomorrow is June 19th. Yeah. It's Father's Day weekend. It's also a long weekend. Monday's a holiday because it was supposed to be Discovery Day. Then we changed it to something else. And then the bank is called calling it June holiday Monday. So that's what we'll call it. Um, it's a very generic day off. I don't give a shit what I have to do to get a day off. I take them as I get them. Um, William and I are gonna go to Salmon Air Nature Park tomorrow and then we're going to, this is a provincial park up there that I've never seen before. There's, um, well apparently I saw it when I was a child and I have no recollection of it. So we're gonna have like a nice fun morning slash early afternoon adventure and I thought I would vlog that for you guys and um, Sunday is Father's Day and hopefully Monday I'll just vegetate and it'll be lovely. So that is that. I've got laundry on to go. It's still really sticky. I'm going to install my air conditioner tomorrow. We've had like a lot of ups and downs with the weather too. Like last Tuesday I think it was 30 something degrees at the Humidex and was that last week? I don't even fucking remember. But like less than 30 something hours passed and there was a 30 something degree difference in temperature and we had frost and it snowed so like it's been like it makes sense that newfoundlanders are sick <laughs> my sinuses are killing me my head feels like it's gonna explode and i don't even know if that was like it was like that pre-vaccine but then i think the vaccine just didn't help me at all and like i said i still have a bruise and stuff on to go and my arm still hurts and i have a rash and it sucks but it's really good. good. It's done. Hopefully I don't react to the second one because I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't have time to feel sick. So like, this needs to F off now. Science can like, suck it. I'm grateful it exists. I'm grateful we can get vaccinated and be safe. But I don't got time for this shit, so pack off is kind of how I feel about my side effects. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to go finish watching Superstore and get a little laundry on to go. And I will see you guys first thing tomorrow morning for a weekend vlog. Good morning, friends. It is Saturday morning. I'm awake. I did not go to bed till late last night. If you didn't know, you're living under a rock. The Montreal Canadiens have made it to the semifinals of the NHL playoffs uh, for the Stanley Cup, if you're not a hockey fan. Um, and I've, I grew up in a Montreal Canadiens house, so I'm not surprised that I'm interested in the playoffs. I've been following them, but I've been finding it hard to stay awake because I get up so bloody early during the week. Last night I was like, oh, the game's on at 9.30. It's going to be on CBC. It's a reasonable hour, not a horrible time difference. And... I missed the first two Vegas games because they were in Vegas. Didn't start till 10.30 on a weeknight. Who watches TV after 10.30 on a work night? But anyway, so um, the series was tied one to one. So then last night, it was a good game. I was like, I'll turn it on. I started to play The Sims and watch hockey. And then, boy, we went to overtime. I didn't go to bed till like 1.30 or something by the time I like stop watching hockey. So that was interesting. But we won, so it's three to, it won, we won three to two. It was a good game. And um, I don't know when game four is. <laughs> so now we have, it's two to one in the series. So go us. I'll die if Montreal makes it to the finals of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I may die. I don't think I've ever seen it in my life, which would be cool, but um, they may actually do it. And I mean, if they don't, they did an amazing job. And I, I know, it has, I don't want to say it has a lot to do with COVID. I really don't, but it feels like that. And I will say, I don't understand this. Watching like the highlights and stuff from the Vegas games, the arenas are full. Like they're freaking full. No masks in the spectator stands, nothing. And I'm like, why? Why would you do that? And our head coach had got tested positive on their way back from Vegas to the Bell Center for COVID. So they were out, they didn't have a coach last night, like their head coach, they just had like their assistant coaches and stuff, I think, on the bench. It was very interesting. But watching the game, like seeing the pictures from the COVID perspective, like the amount of people that were there, in Vegas, sold out arena versus go to the Bell Center. Um, people in, there were like minimum capacity. I think for the first couple of 
series of the playoffs, it was only 2,500. And then Quebec started lifting a few restrictions as vaccines started to roll out in Canada. So last night, it was 3,500 people. People were masked. And there was a lot of people outside. And when they would cut to outside and people watching the games, the game story on the big screen, everybody was masked. And I'm like, what a difference between Canada and the US. There's a reason why our borders still closed. <laughs> I think it's really funny. But anyway, I'm getting ready now. I'm gonna have some breakfast and I've got to pick William up for 8.45 at 7.30. Right, so I'll see you guys when we're ready to get out the door. New sneakers. Well, they're not really new. I've had them forever, but I've never worn them because they were my gym sneakers. And um, I just canceled my gym membership, so we gave for that. We are ready to rock and roll. I got snackies. Yay. Everything's packed. Um, William's bringing his portable barbecue so we can actually barbecue at one of the campy things. I've got everything I need in there. And this is just the frozen stuff and the bananas, which we'll lay over here because I think I'm going to eat one in the car. And uh, yeah. Let's go. Welcome to Sam and Nature Park, friends. It feels so weird to be vlogging again. We had a road trip, naturally. Sir William is here. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a bad vlogger, okay? We have a fun day planned, guys. Um, <laughs> privacy. Um, but yeah, so waiting to get in. It is 9.57, so they open the gates in three minutes. And there's only two cars in front of us, so we won't be waiting today, which is nice. So oh, yay. Why do I already want to pet him? <laughs> My name is Amanda and I want wildlife. <sighs> William, it wouldn't be my final words, okay? It wouldn't. No, your last one would be. No, but we'd end up becoming friends and I'd have a pet polar bear to kill people with. <laughs> like in Alice in Wonderland, the Tim Burton. Guys, there's bats and you can actually hear them. That's a bird, not a bat, I promise. <laughs> Mr. Caribou is having his morning breakfast. She's chilling like a villain. I love animals. He's just chilling. He's cute. Makes me humans to find these things. Oh. <clears throat> Or in plain sight. Oh, I couldn't. Sleepy. It's so um, dirty. I couldn't see yeah. it through the. Oh, did I start you? Let me get a good shot for you, friends. Can we see him? He's right there. He's aggressive. He's my kind of person. Where's the sign that says it's aggressive? <sighs> Attention. This animal is aggressive? Yeah. He's my spirit animal. So am I. I may bite if you piss me off, too, right, William? <laughs> Guys, I've only ever seen the lynx once. I love how they put, Yeah. I don't know, man, is this for protecting the animals from COVID or preventing stupid people from falling in? It could go either way. My vlog versus my TikTok are gonna be so different. TikTok, I'm promoting it, and the vlog, I'm shaming people for stupidity. <laughs> this is where the real content is on the vlog channel. Um, I've only ever seen the lynx once, and it was the time he escaped, and we were vacating the park because he escaped, and I saw him on the boardwalk. <laughs> Hello. No sign of the woodchuck. I spy with my little eye two bald eagles. He's making a TikTok. <laughs> we. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. We've barely seen any animals. There's no moose. I don't think the peregrine falcon is there. Like there's no signs of animal life. This thing, I think I've only ever seen once in my life. The mink. Um, I am making a TikTok. I just said to William, we both just said it actually. It's really funny that, um, let me show my face. Um, it's really funny that that um what did i just say um, there's more nature yeah no, I'm that's not actually like in enclosures here than 
are in enclosures right now. And I mean, I know it's probably the winter and I mean, it's a good thing. I guess it means animals don't need to be rehabilitated. So that's good, mm -hmm. but still. We still don't have a moose. That's two years in a row. That's yeah. disappointing. It's like, I was just saying to William, his children, it's the only thing like growing up, we always knew was gonna be here was a freaking moose. Yeah, and the now there isn't. There's it's one caribou now. One instead of two caribou. No snowy owls. Nope. But there For was the two bald time, eagles. That's the first time it was there last year. And then there's a nice bench that's not wood. There's like, well, yeah. I was also just saying to William, I wish there was like, <laughs> there was like an extra hour added to the day where there's no children. It's so annoying to me. And I, again, I get it. It's, but like, I don't mind spending time with like cash and stuff because she knows and understands rules. But like the kids that are here, parents aren't parenting and we're not supposed to pass people and you're not supposed to be in the enclosures with anybody else in a bubble and they're not stopping their children from coming in, which is just bad parenting. So I don't like that and I wish, this is why I don't want to rejoin society, okay? <laughs> like it sucks. I haven't, we haven't come across one other bubble that I've had anything good to say about, have we William? <laughs> it's a problem. But I do wish there was like, slots for all activities where it's just not for families like for an hour for the people who don't want to listen to people's children screaming and misbehaving and and all that kind of crap like when you just want to go enjoy it so that kind of stuff i don't like so and i think that's what i loved so much about covid was i didn't have to join society so i didn't have to put up with it so now i'm like extra hypersensitive to it yeah aren't i william that's right. <laughs> i'm in a mood i haven't vlogged in so long guys i have vlogger arm it's really sad and i didn't bring my tripod so work on the cam the vlogging arm again yeah who needs to work out anymore when you're a youtuber i was also saying it's really hard to make TikTok, get instagram get photos and vlog at the same time me i said i was back and i came back hard didn't i william we have regrets well not really but we do i love the sound of the stream this is nice <laughs> i've always wanted a fountain See, it makes me want to pee. Yeah, I love the sound of the birds in here. Yeah. Another aggressive animal. They are my people. This is new. And now I'm talking over screaming child. Oh, YouTube struggles. Newfoundland and Labrador extinct species. So they have in here this is more of an educational enclosure now which is nice this used to be where the snowshoe hair was yes. so this is the newfoundland wolf they just have like a, a wooden cutout of it and they're extinct so it's in case you're wondering All right, time to do my things what you need to know we'll keep going there's more up there so i'll continue this clip as we yeah. go ahead the labrador duck and over here is the labrador duck Let's see. the great auk there's a fox 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 Are you scared of that screaming child too, buddy? I hear you. I understand your pain. Here you are. Here you go. Hello. Hello. Oh, look at the chunky little monkey. Hello, little friend. Oh, hello. Look right Hi. into the lens, my oh love. Oh my god, hello. You have a fly on your nose. Oh my god. Look at the chunky little monkey. Look at the fluff butt. Is she pregnant? Is she? Hello, fluff butt. I had too much video for you. Psst, 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 psst. You see something. Hi. Hello. What do you see? You see it look up again? As if the red fox content wasn't enough. Please see two white fluffy marshmallow arctic foxes. Um, the best time to come here is early in the morning on like a 16, 17 degree weather day because they open at 10. So they've just been fed breakfast. So they're all having their morning naps and they're all easy to spot. And if it's not a hot day, they're all out. Look at the bobbies. Look at the freshest bobbies. How do I not own a pet fox? <laughs> oh, look at the little marshmallow fluff nugget. That is a wrap on Salmon Air, guys. Two TikToks in the bag. They have a water bottle refill station in there now, which is new. <laughs> We're going to go. I'm starving. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry now. We've worked up our appetites. Let's get in the car. Back. By the time we get over to Father Duffy's well and yeah. set up. And then, yeah, exactly. And then go out to, because it's not that far. Yeah. Guys, the foxes were dope. 
this thing comes in clutch. Even when we go on long drives to the cabin, it's a cooler that plugs into your lighter in your car, so it keeps things cold, which is why we're able to pack up a barbecue, right, William? <laughs> and come on out here. So we made it up to Father Duffy's well. Um, this is the rest stop, so the trail is just up this way. We did it last year with Nicole and Cash, and um, yeah, so we're actually gonna grill burgers and hot dogs today, and we got snacks. I'm gonna go help and not be that annoying vlogger person. Let there be a feast! Thank you for cooking, sir. <laughs> My god, we went ham. We're starving, though. Some of us failed to eat breakfast today. It's cool. It's cute, I like all the stairs. This is where Cash and I made the found a stick on the ground TikTok. <laughs> all the power that I found, I'm gonna totally abuse it. <laughs> We're going up those stairs? Yep, or down the stairs. It's down and up. Wow, okay, I am so mother effing excite. Holy shit. This is called Cataracts Provincial Park, and I am stoked. I brought my water for this one. This is my third bottle of water today. No wonder we had to go back to Salmonier to pee. Wow. I didn't know, like, I do when I don't remember this as a child. <laughs> Let's let him get his TikTok. Guys, my phone is dying. TikTok it. Wow. Yeah. That's the old, uh... We finished off the adventure with a trip to the Irish Loop Dairy Bar. I got black cherry and white chocolate soft serve. This is the little hole in the wall, literally. William got peanut butter and white chocolate. Mm -hmm. He got a cone because he's a grown up. I need a spoon and a cup. Okay, friends, we're home. I'm tired. It's almost six o'clock. I'm gonna put a frozen pizza in the oven and I'm gonna start cleaning the house because she's gnarly. And yeah, that sucks. So anyway, give you a quick dirty house tour and then I'm gonna end the vlog here and probably pick it up tomorrow and I'll show you Father's Day and then we'll do meal prep Monday because Monday's a holiday for me. I don't think I have any real legit plans, so we can do that. The bathroom's probably the only room that's relatively clean. I don't even know what died out here. I just got home, so I started unpacking. I also got the air conditioning unit installed today, so shout out to William for helping me do that. So I've got to put the house back together. And the kitchen's not horrible either. The surfaces need a good wipe down. But other than that, we Gucci. So I'm going to go clean the hell out of this house from top to bottom. Finish watching season five of Superstore. I'm going to end it here. Um, I got enough content for three TikToks today as well as this vlog. So I'm really excited. It was nice to get out and do something today and just be fun. So um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you tomorrow morning for Sunday slash Friday. Thanks for watching.